So Whirlpool washer here, and just want to point something out. If you're experiencing during the spin cycle, washer bouncing, slapping around, your suspension rods are out. These smaller Whirlpools, they don't have issues with the basket and the hub separating. So there's a good chance that if your washer is shaking, never completing the cycle, you need to replace the suspension rods. Suspension rods are located at each corner of the washer, one in each, and one to the back. And obviously if your washer is shaking, being annoying, it's gonna be the suspension rods. You can always also verify by pushing down. If you don't have a, an agitator, you can always push either the side and should not be that bouncy, okay? In fact, I'm gonna use one finger and take a look at the side between the correlation between the body and the machine. One finger. Okay, super shaky. If you push down on it, super bouncy. This thing should be nice and firm. So I do have videos on the collar insulation and it works great. I will leave a link to the colors that I'm going to be using on this and actually that's what it looks like. great the actual issue is on the inside but since these are connected it treats it the same so it doesn't matter what it does it tensions the recoil so when the machine is bouncing it slows down it dampens the recoil so it comes up slower okay and the beautiful thing about these, over time, as you increase and get more wear, you're going to lose some tension. But the beautiful thing about these, you can also just torque just a little bit and you get the resistance back again. All right, so we're going to install these. All right, guys, so the issue with these washer whirlpools newer ones they have the slot little section in the side of the uh, tub that allows you to change the suspension rods with the top up and you're good to go these machines you have to pretty much take out set it down close the lid and so forth get the rod back in, close the lid, and do the other one. Now, this method here I'm showing you, we have, this is a strap, okay? And it's sitting underneath. It's gone under. You do have to go around, around this, around it, and go around this one as well. Pretty much are sitting underneath okay so this is actually holding up the tub okay so now what you're gonna do you're gonna have all your rods ready you can have them underneath the machine and you're gonna release all of these all of them let them drop down and you're gonna be underneath, you're gonna slide these in, set the machine back down, put your rods in, and release this all in one process. This will save you a lot of time. And the drum is also suspended. So each suspension rods, each time you're taking out, you're actually putting strain on the rod itself. So you're keeping it nice and sturdy everything should be good. Um, sometimes you have to use two, but uh, usually just the one does a great job. Just get it in the center 
and it levels it pretty good. Usually if the tub does move somewhat, it's not gonna fall because it does have a cavity, the body of the machine to hold it in place. All right. All right, so here we are suspended. We, no suspension rods are there. Everything's out. Okay, so now we are going to pull those out. You have to close the lid. And once you insert your rods, you're good to go. You just have to drop them down. Make sure they're down so you can grab them and take them out. And the strap does a great job, guys. Uh, just saves you a lot of closing and opening. So we're gonna set this down. By the way, make sure you set your lid in that whole opening. That's what it's for, and don't lose your thing. I have one down there. You can set them in here so you don't lose them. So now we're gonna close the lid. I'm gonna tilt it back. And you can lock it in place just so you don't have an accident. Oh, sorry, you can't, you can't lock it in place. You do have things in the way. So, one side can lock though. And what you're gonna do now is tilt it back. Piece of cake. And you have the rods right there. So, all right, let's do that. All right, so once once your rods are up, it has a hook. So right, I'm, what I'm trying to do right now is trying to grab so they don't fall back down. So just push, turn, and release. Push, turn, and release until it catches so that they don't just hang on the ground or just fall straight on out. They won't fall out, but much better. Real quick guys, so when you're tilting forward, we just tilt it back. Now we're gonna tilt forward because you wanna make sure that this does not go forward on you, okay? Just put one screw, you don't have to do both. Now we can tilt this forward. See that? And it's easier now to extract.
All right, guys, so as you can see, you got all your shocks up here. Everything's ready to go. And it's just a piece of cake, literally. So just makes the job a lot easier. In fact, the drum right now is fully suspended and it just makes, uh, you know, getting these things done a lot easier. So, well, pretty straightforward from here on. You know what to do. I'm gonna bring these up and you're gonna insert them in here. Um, yeah, the other ones, they had some that were a little bit tricky where you have to get them uh, wrap it around, sort of, had a little lip, but these are pretty straightforward. So uh, you'll see it shortly when it's complete. All right, so everything's in. And we're still suspended. So just a ratchet strap, that's all it is. just drop it or you can walk it around make sure you go around the shop because if not All right, you remember how the machine was bouncy? Now look at it, see that, firm, sturdy. Look at that, you gotta push down on it. This machine is ready. All right guys, that's how you do that, one shot. All right, just make sure all your things are in nice and secure. And then all you gotta do is button up Thanks for watching.